Just over two years ago, a device called the RetroTink 2X changed the retro gaming world forever, allowing you to do what no affordable solution before it could. Simply plug your classic consoles into a TV using the cables it came with, without any hassle and zero lag. Now the creator of the RetroTink line of products is back with a new solution for the only input the original Tink 2X was missing, RGB SCART. Before I get started, I'd quickly like to tell you about Floatplane, Patreon, and other support services I'm signed up for. Supporters get early access to most videos, access to the weekly Q&As, and most importantly, support all of the behind the scenes research and development that I'm a part of. If you're interested, please check the links below, but for now, I'll just jump right into the video. The 2X SCART is a device that takes RGB from your classic consoles and converts it to a 480p HDMI signal. It does this using the same technology that was in the original RetroTank and comes with all of the same advantages and benefits. It adds zero lag and makes sure your TV processes the signal correctly. See, your average flat screen TV doesn't understand what classic game signals are and often processes them as if they were TV signals. This usually results in a flickery image and a lot of lag, if it works at all. Like the original RetroTank, using the 2X SCART is about as simple to use as it gets. Connect your cables, turn on your TV, and start gaming. You can pretty much use any USB power device, including the USB port on most TVs, and unlike the original Tink 2X, this HDMI port is full size, as opposed to the original's mini HDMI. This was never a problem for me, since I have drawers upon drawers of HDMI cables and adapters, but I guess the standard size port is probably easier for most people. The quality is exactly what you'd expect from a RetroTink product, and to demonstrate, I'm recording all footage in this video on my LG 4K TV using a GH5 4K camera. This way you'll get an idea of what to expect on an average TV, and the results won't be skewed by any capture methods. Overall, it looks good and it accomplishes its goal, a hassle-free SCART to HDMI box. While the 2X is simple, it still has some options. The button next to the HDMI port toggles a few different modes. The first and default is standard 480p as we've been seeing. Press that once and it enables a smoothing filter that's the same as the one in the Tink 2X and Rad 2X cables. My personal opinion is this doesn't look good at all for 2D games, but does an excellent job smoothing out 3D graphics from consoles such as the PlayStation or N64. I think that this is especially true when playing games that are 480i only, as not only does the filter smooth out the 3D graphics, but it seems to reduce the interlaced flicker that you see. Unfortunately, native 480p games for consoles like the PS2 and Wii isn't supported, but those consoles generally get 480p via component anyway. SCAR is predominantly 240p and 480i, both of which are converted to 480p by the 2x SCAR. If you press the button in the rear one more time, it activates artificial scan lines. I won't spend too much time with this, as scan lines tend to look awful in web videos, but overall, if you're a fan of adding scan lines while digitizing classic consoles, the 2X SCART does a great job. I suggest giving them a try across different games and see what you think. As with the original RetroTank 2X, resolutions switch pretty quickly with the 2X SCART. Here's a typical scenario of a PS1 game with 240p gameplay and 480i menus. Now, this delay will vary based on your TV, but some scalers take a lot longer to switch between resolutions, and going direct into your TV usually takes even longer than that. Overall, I'd consider the 2X SCART a pretty fast solution for switching resolutions like that. Another scenario I think the 2X SCART works really well in is using a cheap HDMI to VGA converter to connect it to a VGA monitor. I think this is a great solution for people who want to game on a CRT, but don't have access to RGB monitors. Also, if you enable scan lines, it looks really close to something that you'd see on a PVM. I was very impressed when I first tried it, and in my opinion, this is a scenario in which I'd leave scan lines on all the time. Another more common scenario I'd like to mention is people who have full RGB SCART setups running through a G-SCART switch. 
It's common to have one of those outputs going to a CRT, and you could utilize the other output for the SCART 2X for casual streaming or just gaming on a flat screen TV. In fact, I think many streamers might prefer the 2X SCART simply because there's no setup. You just plug it in and it works. Heck, a friend of mine is even working on a SCART coupler, so no cables are necessary. Just plug it in directly into the G-SCART and have a very easy solution running to your capture card. Lastly, and in some cases most importantly, the 2X SCART doesn't add any lag. To demonstrate, here's a console outputting composite video to one CRT, and that same console outputting RGB to the 2X SCART, then through a converter into another CRT that's compatible with 480p. This is proof that you get the same exact latency using the 2X SCART as you would using the consoles direct into a CRT. It's also proof that the converter I'm using doesn't add lag either. If you'd like even more proof, this is 960 frame per second footage. Follow the CRT's beam from the top where it shows both monitors on the same frame number, down past the colored circles showing the same frames once again on each monitor. Each frame on this recording represents about one millisecond, proving the 2X SCART doesn't even have a millisecond of lag. Of course, your TV adds lag too, so make sure to put it in game mode when playing for the best performance. Overall, I think the 2X SCART absolutely accomplished its goal of being a simple to use, inexpensive device that just works. Of course, some people will absolutely prefer the ultra sharp output of something like the OSSC, and if you don't mind messing with profiles and changing resolutions per game per console, it really is an excellent solution. All that being said, I still think the 2X SCART is a great device for the same reason as the original RetroTINK 2X. All you have to do is plug your consoles in and it just works. And speaking of the RetroTINK 2X, a Pro Edition was just released for that as well. Check out the video from Ray Commend showing all its features. Also, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.